for most of my childhood, gaining weight was my biggest problem. Uh, it wasn't until about middle school, high school that my lungs started to decline. 2008, I collapsed my left lung completely, and that put me in the hospital for about six weeks. Taking out the trash was nearly impossible. Like it, it left me completely breathless and coughing. The Friday before I was going to go is when Dr. Straw called me and told me that the program was going to be open here and I could do the eval here. His lung function was less than a liter, um, which is very bad. So we you know, talked about it and it was time, time to list him. I was worried that it was an April Fool's joke because it was April Fool's when she called me. And so I called him on a Friday and I said, hey, what are you doing tomorrow? Or what are you doing this weekend? And he said, he's like, nothing. And I said, you want to come get some new lungs? And he's like, yes. First person I called was my girlfriend and I asked her, uh, I said, what are you doing this weekend? And she said, well, I'm working. I said, you're going to have to call them because uh, you're not working. And she's like, why? And I was like, well, I just got the call. The recovery is not easy. Um, he had a month-long hospital stay, and he did amazing with it. It's getting better every day. The first part was really rough and very painful. Once cystic fibrosis patients are transplanted, they no longer have cystic fibrosis in their lungs. So, um, you know, they still have it in the rest of their body, so there's the other complications with that, but he doesn't have cystic fibrosis in his lungs anymore, so that's an amazing thing for these patients. Everything's crazy. I can do stuff now. It's, I can sleep without waking up coughing in the middle of the night. I can, it's, yeah, it's incredible. It's like a complete turnaround. Like before, you know, when I first met him, he said, you know, he couldn't walk to the driveway to take the trash out without getting short of breath. And now he's, you know, walking 2.5 on the treadmill and um, just, you know, running circles around this place. Like he's, he's doing awesome. Everybody got little tattoos of lungs in different places, in different sizes on their body. Uh, my girlfriend and my mom got them. I got shown the pictures and the tattoos after all of them were done, and it, it brought a tear to my eye. It was incredible. That's with a lot of our patients, is that they get to stay where their support system is, and that's a huge part of transplant because um, the more support you have, the better you're gonna do it. I've always been a strong advocate for organ donation, um, even, before this, but you know, I I get to live this life now because somebody donated an organ. So that's a gift I can never repay, and it's amazing. And so, if you're not an organ donor, you really should get on that. I honestly can't think of any reason not to. 